the hard part about you is you're displacing your responsibility. You are literally looking at your life as if you have done everything right. And the truth is you failed. You failed the minute that you thought you had the right to write a diagraphical, biographical paper about someone else's life that put them in peril, put them at risk, put them in front of sexual assault, religious abuse, and literally physical abuse. Do you understand that they cut your little brother's appendages? Do you understand that they have been shaving his head without consent? Do you understand that they've been cutting off his beard without any permission to do it? Do you understand that he barely gets to sleep without somebody touching him in some way? Do you understand that they cut him again down around his pubic hair? So what are they doing? Taking a knife and slipping it down his pants? But why can't he feel what's being done to him until the next day? Or is your lie that you think that putting things in his funnel, like poison and other thing, is okay? The lie you told yourself is what you think you have the right to do to someone who just doesn't motherfucking like you. And your lie is thinking that you have the rights to sexually assault or religiously abuse, literally create a hate crime on someone who doesn't care about you, doesn't want to know you, and cannot stand you for how you live your life. In America, we have rights. We are a smorgasbord of opportunities, but the lie you make is that you're not delivering drugs up and down this block. The lie you did was that you took a man's prescription, you destroyed his health, and now he's had a stroke, and actually three strokes, and a heart attack. Congratulations. You must be so proud to be able to stand before the Lord when the God of your Christ, that you call God, calls you home. Because you just think God is going to be so proud of what you've done. 